Welcome everyone. I am now fulfilling my second request of Fire Emblem Path of Radiance. Let's watch this little opening, shall we? Get an idea of what the game's actually about. Actually, it probably won't tell you that much. Because there's no story in this portion, just images. Flashy images. So as I mentioned in my last part of A Link to the Past, I will record these in chapters because each uh, portion of the gameplay is separated by chapters. This will make it more convenient. This might make some videos longer, some videos shorter. Either way, it's convenient for me. It will allow me to record multiple parts easier. So, with that being said, what is Fire Emblem about if you've never uh, played it before? Well, it's kind of a strategy game where you take turns. Think of it like a chess game, actually. You can uh, equip people with different weapons, and uh, they have classes, which means that they could only use certain weapons. It's pretty fun, but as far as I know, it's never really caught on here in the uh, West. I know that uh, this has been going on since the days of the Famicom in Japan, but we only got it during the GBA years. This game's actually pretty hard to find now, I think, and it can go for some outrageous prices. I know I had to pay a little bit extra for it used to get it. So with that, let's start. I've deleted all data prior to this. Might as well start clean. Let's go to a new game. And yeah, well, let's see. I'm gonna go to normal because... I want to beat the game. I'll explain along the way. Not that I can't play it. So we here here we have the prologue. Get a little cutscene here. Well, Ike, you had enough? The dub in here is questionable at best, I'll say. I mean, some voices are good, others aren't as good. But we don't get that many cutscenes here, so whatever. Oh no, Ike's been hit to the ground. Oh, the cell shading is kind of cool. At least I think it's cell shading. Of course, they're very stereotypically designed. Ike's hair color matches his eye color. That's kind of weird. Mm, Mist, I don't think she sings very well. Well, actually, actually that's humming. She doesn't hum very well. So. Ah, you're up. About time. God, she's so cutesy wootsy. I'm gonna get diabetes. I pretty sure the joke's been done before. Now we're at the prologue. Mercenaries. Uh, the prologue's kind of short, so I might as well go into the first chapter. It's basically a training thing. I've got to increase that tech speed. I'm going to um, press the text and let it wait a little bit so you can read it too. I'm not going to read along. I'm, no one wants to hear me read everything. I can do voices if you want. No, I won't be. The 
early worm gets the Boyd. No, wait, I did that wrong. It's the early Boyd gets the... Oh, forget it. I tried to make a joke and... Just forget it. I'm not even going to cut that out. That'll show you how good a comedy I am. Such a carefree life. Ike, you're inferior to your father. See, sword versus axe. I, I, I don't know. They give you the triangle, though. It's just that, you know, it's just like, you're closer to his skill. You have an axe. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna try and uh, do this again. Because it's been a while since I played it. No, I don't need tutorials. I just wanna. Uh, okay. Let's go to my options. I wanna change some of that. Animation. I want off, because that's gonna take up more time than it needs to. Normal. Game speed. Fast. Message speed. Max. Don't need a big grid. Combat window. I'm gonna say simple window, I guess. What do we got here? Ah, I don't do that stuff. Auto end turns. Turn to end automatic. Whatever. Ah. Why was it on mono? I want stereo. Well, you'll have the first part in uh, mono. Sorry about that. And I think that's good. Alright, let me get see here. What can I do? You can't do much yet. Hmm. I can only really move. I might as well just move. I mean, if I don't, he will. And I mean, the battle is initiated based on stats, so whatever. Let's wait. Alright, Boyd. Oh, I gotta go to him anyways. Let's hope I get lucky with my trainer sword. I got the advantage. He's gonna take more off of me, unfortunately. Or would that? No, I took more from him, I think. Oh. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just getting used to this again. It's been a while since I played. Do I have any items? I have only the trainer. You see, he's gonna kill me here. Am I looking at this wrong? I might be looking at it wrong. Oh wait, yeah, no, that's how much he's gonna take away from me. Yeah, sorry, I, I'm not used to this again. Okay, I was, I had to win this. Vulnerary. It's kind of weird. I'm just gonna call it potion. Now I gotta fight my father, Grail. So, I just wanna look at my items quickly. Okay, I got three. What's my energy at? Okay, I might wanna use one. Uh, should I walk up? First of all, I'll go up to him and I'll use my recovery. Because, I mean, either way, he was going to come to me anyways. Six, nine. Now, if I initiate this attack, let's see. 
Oh, okay, I was, yeah, I was definitely looking at it wrong. Okay, I'm the blue, they're the red. Yeah, I don't know why I was looking at it that way. Okay, so if I take, he takes away six off of me. Unless he gets a critical, I should be able to do it without recovering again. Yep. There we go. Nice little extra free uh, level up. Because if I lost, I wouldn't have got the level up. I guess the fun thing about Fire Emblem, Emblem is, at least this one, I actually don't have the experience with the others, that you can basically choose who you want to level up. And, because they all have different advantages to leveling them up. If you've never done it, you can basically level up their classes. I'll get to that later. Yeah, I know, it's kind of hard for me to figure out how I'm going to do this talking while trying to read. So what has Ike been doing this entire time if he wasn't a mercenary? Father cares about his son. Well, that's the first part, but I'm not going to end it there. That was only, like, ten minutes. So let's do chapter one. The battle begins. This will probably be the end of my first part. I mean, I, I might record them, you know, in smaller parts, but I might upload more than one in a single day. So it should, I think, actually, I think the sentence is not that short. Whipping boy. Oscar and Boyd are brothers. There's another one there, but, uh, yeah, you will see him when we meet him. All right, guys. Oscar with his shut eyes all the time. Yeah, these little story parts will actually fill up some of the time, so, you know, the battles may be shorter, but you'll get some story. Let's get going. To meet some bandits. In some village, I guess. Caldea? Oscar's so nice. All right. Now. Yeah, the triangle. Of course, sometimes brute force will um, nullify the triangle. So now, um, let me see what I got here. My problem with Boyd is that he has really bad defenses at the beginning. I can take away 11 off of him and he can take 7. Early on he's not so bad, but later, a few levels later, 
he's got really bad defense. Well, not just defenses, but not very good um, hit. His accuracy is pretty low. Titania is pretty good at the beginning. She's got two axes, and she does double damage on both of them. Let's see what Ike will do. Eight times two. So not so bad. I got a lot of iron swords. I do want to level up Ike a bit at the beginning. Eight times two. Um, so what would be good? I don't want to abuse Titania, that's the problem. Let me see where the others are. Got a guy here with a sword. I can put Oscar out. He can basically handle himself. But what else is there? Okay, they can't really reach me yet. So, what I can do is maybe get some experience on Boyd. I mean, unfortunately, the swordsman's probably gonna... Okay, no, he can't reach. I can use Titania to just take him out the rest of it. Iron. Whatever. Yeah, she doesn't get much experience. I'll put Oscar out here. I want Ike to get the experience. Now, the way I like to play is I don't like to lose anyone. Now, the question is, if I lose someone, should I just continue or not? That'll take him out. Get some good experience. All right, enemy phase. There was no way I was going to reach that house. All right, what do you got? Pathetic. Pathetic. He was able to move again. Alright, let's see. Maybe I can give... Let me just look around. These guys don't have good range, so that's good for me. I like to know where everyone's range is when I play. You see, that's not good. Because, yeah. You see, he's got really poor hit accuracy here. If I do this, that doesn't do enough. If I do this... Let's give Oscar some. He's strong anyways. Oscar is very easy to level up early on, so that could be considered good. What I'll do is... I... hmm... Because I don't want him to destroy that house right away, so... I'll block it off for now. I'll get Titania for backup. Uh, wait. I'll have Ike visit. I'll have Boyd visit the house. What do I get? Ah, steel sword. That's something Ike needs. I can also bring Ike a little bit up as well. So he's probably gonna go after. Yeah, I knew he was gonna go after Oscar. Six. Oh, he missed. Oh yeah, against Axe is not good. I like how the Swords guy isn't moving at all. Let me just see what's going on here. Ten times two and six. His range is up here. Void will be back up. Items. Let's recover him. See here. I'll visit with him because he's not good at all. Seraph robe. He lost quite a bit of HP, so for this I'm going to use her. I always like to have Titania in range at the beginning, just in case. 
but it's also kind of hard to, you know, use them in a sense because mm, I'm gonna. I can't use my opponent. Oh, he's got Max. I don't think that guy's gonna move from his spot. But the Iron Sword guy kind of worries me. Hmm. I'll try it. Okay, it missed. That's good. Leveled him up. Yeah, my tactics at the beginning are kind of lacking because I haven't played this in a while. So I'm kind of overthinking things. Let's see where you... Going to Boyd. Boyd gets to level up a little bit at least. Nice. It's going to Ike. Five, seven. Now obviously Boyd I can't use against him. That's just asking that's just asking for trouble. I mean he doesn't do that much damage, but you know what? Let's get Oscar. Ah, that one that'll work. Kind of. See, that's the problem, is that none of these guards are going to take him out in one hit. Well, I guess I'll get Ike some more experience. I'll give Oscar some experience with the big guy. Too many iron swords. So let's see what she does against him. 15 times 2 and 18 times 2. It's too much. I don't want to do that much. I don't want Titania to take all the experience. I mean, he's not moving from that spot. Let's see if I can get... It's not that great. I'll take some off of him. And let him escape. What does Boyd do against him? It's not good. Seven times two, but that only gives me 14. He takes off... But he's got really... Okay, no, he's, his hit's really... He's, his accuracy is terrible. I'm gonna try it. Yeah, I see, his accuracy is terrible. So now Ike will be able to defeat him. Oh yeah, when they're in that spot, they recover. Hit me... But I get to kill him. And I get a ton of experience. Yep. Level up again. Obviously, Mike's, Ike's your main character, so you might as well level... He, he's very easy to max out fast. I don't need an axe. And I don't want to get rid of my swords. Okay, you know what? I'll get rid of one. I have a steel sword I can... And let's seize this. Secrets. Ike's better than Boyd, though. I mean, Boyd's strong, maybe, but... Not in all situations. Now Oscar, he's a good character. And that, I guess, concludes the first part. I'll see you at chapter two.